odds are that you might have seen the person standing with me in the fundraiser page help Bristi Bakchi play La Liga in Spain. There are chances that you might have seen videos of her playing with other men in the amateur league in Bangalore. In case you haven't come across her at all, uh, we are going to tell you who this person is. Uh, Bristi Bakchi, remember that name because she might just be the first Indian to play La Liga, to play in the premier division of the La Liga uh, in August or June this year. But for that to happen, she needs to get her finances right because there is expenses including travel, trip, food, meals, etc. which has to be borne by her and that's what we're going to talk about now. So, uh, why the fundraiser? Uh, so, women's football is really underfunded globally even till today. So, one of the reasons why I'm going to have to cover all my costs in Spain while on the reserves team is because the reserves team doesn't even have enough money to pay foreign players like me. So, until I sign the first team, I have to take care of all my money and expenses. And um, ideally, a lot of countries support their players uh, in situations like this when they go to play abroad. But uh, unfortunately, I haven't received enough okay. support in India yet. And that's why I thought crowdfunding would be a good way to kind of um, see, you know, how much support I can really get. Okay, so Bristi's crowdfunding page gained a bit of traction early on, but uh, because of the delay in you arranging funds, you have to go and play in August now instead of June. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So the uh, current season is almost getting over now. So uh, I can only return by August when the new preseason begins. And uh, so, yeah, it's a little bit of a setback, but. Uh, well, the road so far has not been uh, quite straightforward for Bristi. So, I want to ask you about your journey. How did you start playing football? Where all has it taken you? Uh, so, I started playing when I was about seven years old. Um, I was playing in school, outside school, everywhere. And soon enough, like my parents found out that um, I was very passionate about football. And I was very athletic and all that stuff. But they did like try to put me in other sports where uh, as an in, I could perform as an individual athlete, but I always strayed back to the football field. So they, they probably gave up at one point. And then um, I was picked up by Chitra ma'am. I was training with a former student of my school yeah. uh, for a long time. And uh, then I was picked up by Chitra ma'am one day at Madan Park. And then, so since then she kind of took care of me when I was playing with Sai and uh, I played for state like a few times. I was also the captain of the junior state team. So those experiences really, uh, I think, were useful as an athlete at that young age. I was introduced to uh, strength and conditioning around that time, like 12, 13, 14, which I think has helped me a lot now. And I also had a Nigerian coach, uh, who helped me. So I always like had to find resources from everywhere and kind of make it work. And uh, I had school, I was finishing my A-levels and as soon as I finished, I realized that I wanted to be in a place where the system already existed and I just had to, you know, I could give it everything I could. And so I applied to the US and I got a trial. It was a long shot, but I, I took a plane and left. <laughs> and then... Uh, so where did you go? I went to Oklahoma City University. I uh, I was accepted as a student and then I also had a trial. So after the trial, I became a student athlete. Uh, okay. And ever since, so then I was there for two years, played with them. Then I moved to uh, University of North Texas because I wanted to play uh, more football, but also gain a little more experience in research. So I thought it was nice to, you know, find, get another place to play. Then I represented Dallas City FC uh, while I was there also. So you're going to play in uh, this club called Madrid CFF. So who are they? Uh, where do they play? And uh, how good will this experience be for you? Okay, so Madrid CFF is called is actually Madrid Club de Football Femino, which uh, they play in La Liga Division One in Spain, and uh, they are the Madrid-based women's team. Okay. In the La Liga. So there is other teams like Atletico Madrid and Leganes who are also in Madrid. But they all compete in the La Liga with Barcelona and Espanyol and everybody. So, so how good will this experience be? 
um, really, uh, this is probably some one of the best platforms to play and you know experience the game at. So, so I honestly think, um, I mean, any player, any athlete would dream of this, and as a player, it would be really, really amazing to even return to India maybe one day and kind of teach and share what I've learned in Spain. So I think. Um, as a player, this would be the, I the ideal next step, you know. So, how did you get noticed? How did you get this opportunity to train and play with Madrid CFF? So, I was um, scouted when I was playing. So, I've also played in Dallas City FC, which is a semi-pro team in the US. And I was scouted during that time um, by a scout from Spain. He's from Santander. And ever since then, he's been very helpful in finding me tryouts. and trying to push me because he knows it's difficult for a player like me and I really appreciate that uh, and I've also made more contacts since then in Spain so now it's uh, everyone's kind of trying to help me go back I guess. <laughs> so you've been part of the Indian system as well uh, you've played for Sports Authority of India under the coach uh, Chitra mm -hmm. and uh, what startling difference did you notice between uh, India and the system abroad US or even Spain? I think uh, there was just very little support, even for uh, Chitra ma'am, like she was a very ambitious, I mean she is still a very ambitious coach, and, uh, but at the same time she she's done everything she can, but she's never received like a, the whole country, you know, like in Spain or the US you have so many divisions, so many leagues, local leagues, and then you get to draft the best players from there, but for her she had to handpick players from the city and kind of, you know, make a team. And I think that was the difference, huge difference that I saw. Like there was just a much bigger system of drafting players, and then you find the finest of you know players in the end. So okay. that was what I found very different in the systems. Thank you for your time, and uh, if you want to support Drishti's uh, journey, uh, do check out her fundraiser page. And we hope to see you soon in national team colors. Thanks a lot. Thank you.